Hi guys. It is a lovely evening here. It is midnight. It is the bewitching hour here. On the cusp of Saturday night to Sunday morning, which is about all the same to me, so I don't know. I think I'm starting this at, uh, on Saturday night, September 4th, and this will probably slop in to Sunday, September 5th, 2021. It is Labor Day weekend, and, uh, <coughs> which on one way of looking <coughs> at things, wrapping up the summer of 2021, although I actually have two more months. I am four months into my six-month sojourn here at Bugs in a Jar. Just lying here. I'm up here in the tent because, you know, everything is rented out. The tiny house is rented out. The Maggie Mae trailer is rented out. I got some other people up in the piney woods. Oh, I don't be talking too loud. So me and the little dog are hiding out in the gazelle tent up here. Just getting a barometer here of bugs in a jar. Uh, as summer begins to wind down and... Uh, so, got about two months of fall, of the fall of 2021, and then figuring out what in the fuck I am doing with my life from November 1st to May 1st. I have no fucking clue. No clue. What I will be doing then, but that will play out <coughs> the way it will but right now I'm just looking back over this summer you know arriving here four months ago you know when you when you name your when you name your farm bugs in a jar and uh, you invite essentially invite eight billion people to uh, come come up and hang out at bugs in a jar whether for a night or for a lifetime, or somewhere in between, just to, you know, see what happens. And <laughs> like anything, it has been a mixed bag, but I am sitting here just basically thinking about humans, thinking about humans I know, people I thought I knew, friends that I thought I had, love affairs that I thought uh, I was going to have, and uh, this whole convoluted mess of, you know, here in the end times, just trying to figure out who my tribe is. I mean, that's what this is all about. Uh... <laughs> And just the uh, just the pitfalls of uh, doing an experiment like this that I'm doing here, and thinking of the high points and the low points. Meeting all you folks out here in the Doomosphere, taking all of my little imaginary friends uh, in cyberspace and. Seeing if I can turn them into real life flesh and blood friends. And uh, a mixed bag, as you would expect. Uh, but, uh, you know, I enjoyed a comment from a friend of mine who I only had an opportunity to spend one evening with. Uh, last spring, and that is uh, Sister Victoria. Sister Victoria in West Virginia now. Uh, Victoria is a 
Good Lord. <laughs> Victoria, that was a memorable evening. Now, I'm sorry that all of that shit blew up with that shit down in Florida kind of, uh, kind of interrupted our getting to know each other. So maybe uh, we can get back on track at some point. Sorry for that little interruption, but I guess Victoria was watching this little video I put out there about the uh, those steps leading up here to the tent. This over-the-top ridiculous, I mean completely over-the-top, overbuilt monument to uh <laughs> monument to the fool card that it is uh that i have gotten uh, myself involved with uh here at bugs in a jar bringing these monolithic stone steps up the side of the <laughs> up the side of this hill and uh you know, talking about sending out a big thank you, obviously, number one big thank you to Brother Rob, uh, who has been saving my ass here all summer. Rob, you know, clearly is one of the bugs in a jar. Rob and Donna, who definitely get what's going on up here at Bugs in a Jar. Uh, <laughs> but uh, also sending out big thank yous to Alistair and Caleb for uh, pitching in on this uh, <laughs> on this chaotic journey to build this stair this staircase fit for the Taj Mahal that you get up here and you find a uh, and, you, and you find a glamping tent and this project is still not uh, <laughs> it is still unfolding. I have 20 more big rocks uh, weighing, I don't know, between 10 and 70 pounds. No, 20, I'm sorry. 20 more rocks between 10 and 70 pounds that I went and got today. And uh, seven more sitting in the, in the creek. I'm waiting for Brother Alistair to make another trip up here to to help me get these 100, 150 pound rocks out of the creek and somehow incorporate it into this stairwell. But anyway, it is a, it is a, a team effort. You know, friends helping friends in their time of need. And, you know, Victoria made a comment uh, about how blessed I am. How blessed I am to have friends to uh, help me out with what I've got going in this uh, weird little social experiment and high strangeness I have here in Bugs in a Jar and you know my comment uh, to, to that was yeah yes yeah, see you, you know I am blessed I, you know, just being able to depend on friends to help you out in your time of need. This is what, you know, really going into what we're, what we're going into uh, on this planet. I, I mean, and all joking aside, as, as, as the, the institutions that we used to be able to depend on uh, just getting more and more chaotic and fucked. Uh, we will be depending more and more on each other. And uh, we have to figure out who we can depend on and who we can't depend on. And it, you just have to make some... Sometimes you have to make some tough choices as you're trying to figure out who your tribe, who your inner sanctum is, uh, who you can count on to have your back. Uh, and I was, as I was commenting back to Victoria, 
you, you know, it's just a, 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 a imagine that. Uh, the whole concept of being able to count on your friends to get you out of a fix or <clears throat> whatever that you're, you know, just having people that you can depend on to have your back. And it, it's amazing how, how simple this com, uh, how simple this concept is. Uh, you help your friends out <clears throat> When you have a friend in need who uh, asks for your help, well, uh, you step up to the plate, you do your part, and you help out your friend, and then you might find yourself uh, in a fix where you need a friend to help you out. And it's amazing how the circle works. You help your friend out, and then when you need help, your friend helps you out. It's, it's amazingly simple. Uh, this concept, what goes around, comes around. You step up to the plate, and you see your friend dealing with something where they could use your help, you help them out because you're their friend. And you can expect when you need some help and you're stuck in a position that, you know, the friends that you helped, uh, you know, it's just, it's not like they owe you anything. It's just that you should be able to expect them to help you out. This is a very simple what goes around comes around. Full circle. What goes around comes back. What you reap, you shall sow. Uh, as above, so below. How many times have we heard this? It is a very simple concept. And it's unbelievable to me. And, you know, I'm going on 62 years old. And just uh, w when I find out how people, how grown-ups can live, you know, hell, uh, 62 years on this planet and never figure out this concept, okay, that you pitch in is called community that you all pitch in together, you, uh, you share the work, and you share the rewards. Uh, you know, it's, uh, people will develop their different niches, and it, 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 I've mentioned this before, it, it is the division of labor. Uh, what I think uh, about these communities, these, these eco-communities or intentional communities, whatever, I have, uh, I believe it is the division of labor is uh, right up there with personality conflicts. Uh, it is the division of labor, which usually is the genesis of of the personal conflicts. You know, you're a team, okay? You're a team. Everyone offers what they, you offer what you can offer. You pitch in and then you take what you, you know, you take your share, you pitch in, you offer your share and at the end of the day, you take your share. And you just work out, you know, people fall into their niches and their roles. And uh, on these rare successful communities, a, a division of labor, a fair division of labor. Uh, that, you know, if... Uh, 
you know, two hours. So what I have, for instance, at, at Bugs in a Jar Farm, I have made clear that it, th how it works, anyone who doesn't understand this, uh, when you come to Bugs in a Jar Farm, now, if you're just coming for a couple of days to hang out, absolutely, you, you know, come here for three or four days and just hang out and have a good time. But, you know, if you're coming here and spending a week or whatever, uh, what I ask for your room and board, as it were, here, in exchange for uh, e either... Either depending on what's available, because I, I will take the tiny house if it's available. But you know, it, it, for the Maggie May or for a nice campsite like this gazelle tent with this bed up here or whatever, for for some sort of uh, accommodation, uh, you know, a flush toilet, a hot shower, good internet. Uh, all the foods you can eat out of this garden, uh, you know, sharing in meals, whatever, uh, that you pitch in for two hours a day. I think that is, I, I just think that's a fair, fair request. You, you pitch in for two hours a day, help out around the place, uh, and enjoy the, the fruits of the place. Uh, <laughs> it, it seems pretty simple to be. And then if you choose to work above and beyond two hours a day, then it's $20 an hour is, is what I pay. Uh, in addition, so, you know, like Alistair, uh, has been up here for quite a bit this summer and, you know, that's just how it works. And, uh, you know, I've, uh, I've, I've had several visitors up here uh, who completely get it and if, you know, everything, uh, has been great. Some more than others, you know, people do what they can do. And, uh, this is how you get people to respect you and uh, you know, this is how community is formed. So I get to meet people uh, when they come to visit here I, or, or when I go to visit them. Uh, you know, I, if I see something that I can help out, you know, I try to help out around the place. Uh, especially, you know, if I'm staying a week or so and, 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 you know, and enjoying the, you know, the person's hospitality, uh, I, I try to show up with my own food, uh, so I'm not raiding the refrigerator all the time, whatnot, and, uh, I, you know, showing up with food, my, my mama, this is one of the things she taught me is if you, uh, want to be welcomed back a second time. Showing up with food is a it, it's just, it, uh, unbelievable how uh, well that that works to get the uh, the welcome mat rolled out uh, if you ever want to come back a second time and just pitching in around the place and so your hosts don't feel you know like is this a is this a friend of mine that's here is who who you know who is this person and uh, it, it's just such a simple concept uh, I anyway but people just don't get it and then of course you know, I, I, I'm, I'm just trying to, it's, it's just, it's just too bad, obviously, when things don't work out, uh, and clearly the, uh, <laughs> the big, the big bug in a jar, that has been a complete failure, uh, I don't know when, uh, I'm going to update the, uh, the, uh,
the Chronicles. That will be, uh, it's just really sad. And uh, obviously the biggest blow of my summer is not all the bugs I wanted in the jar uh, bothered to show up at all. But, uh, there's been a fairly major development that, uh, in the <clears throat> Chronicles that I'm trying to process and, uh, It's ugly. It's sad and it's ugly. And uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. And we all just go plodding along, trying to find our tribe. What goes around, comes around. But what I'm hoping is coming around now is some blessed sleep after this very strange day in the end times and we will see what tomorrow brings Buenas noches guys